Welcome back YouTubers, I'm Timothy. Today we're going to be talking about Aquarius and what's going to happen from now in October 2019 till December 2019 with work, relationships, finances, how do we cope, what do we need to know and what do we, know, we need to know for our, our friends and our family over this time. Okay, so it's a very vital time for Aquarius to really get in tune with themselves I really do feel this is a time for you guys to grow up um, in leaps and bounds. It's really about setting your attention for this year, really not about whining about anything. So we need to pull back from the dramas and uh, analyze what is important for our lives right now. So we're going to go into your entire reading with the, the unicorn cards and tarot. And we'll first do your unicorn cards. Okay. So the first cards you got is family culture. Family culture, especially now in December, for the Aquarians, they're gonna want to feel all this pressure on them to look good or to get things done or that the pressure's on you to provide. So unfortunately, when it comes to friends and family, they might be gathering at your place and you're gonna want to feel the pressure to go big or nothing, you know. So Aquarians are all about like, expansion and growth and in this arena of year you've been asked to make it fun make it exciting over the festive season don't feel pressurized by any means do what you need to do but do it perfectly okay so analyze what you want to do this month so you can better prepare yourself for december months and i feel this is a really important time and the next one is simplicity so make everything simple easy don't go and go extravagant for um, for the festive season, bring it down a notch and make it more manageable for yourself. Otherwise, you're not gonna sit down and actually enjoy your festive season this year, okay? And the next kind is relax, everything's okay. Remember, right now we're feeling lots of pressure to perform and to get things done and to feel that we are doing a really good job. I'm yet to tell you you are. And uh, Aquarians are very much perfectionists, so they want things perfect. Um, so there's a lot of pressure on you. Don't fall into that trap at the moment. Okay, you're doing a really good job. The next one is laughter. Bring friends and family together. Make sure that your household is um, showing off all the signs that you are, you know, bringing that into your life. So if there's anything around the home that needs to be done, get it sorted, get it decluttered at the moment. So whatever we embarrass about, whether it is a painting of the house or weeds in the garden, Now's the month in October, going into November, that we want to really focus on the household, how it looks, the appearance of home. So if there's any renovations right now in this year, it's time to do it now, okay? And let's go over to your tarot and see what uh, the tarot cards have to say. I can really tell you from relationships, it might feel like a lot of work. Um, relationships over this time period is not about and uh, trying to control anyone or them controlling you. If we feel a lot of pressure at the moment in relationship to give more commitment, it might be a time for you just to pull back a little bit and just observe, don't react. Uh, maybe we're missing keys over here for ourselves to wake us up and realize this person is for us and we need to make it work. And it's not about excusing bad behavior. And if our partners are not are doing something that's irritating us, now is the time to educate them and say, listen, when you don't stick up for me, when you're not performing around the home, when it comes to you know your side of the chores, this is what irritates me. And this address that right now. So in relationships, over October to December, it's about facing what we what are we suppressing at the moment, address it, and then it goes away. Okay, so it resolves, it gets better. If the uh, Aquarius is single at the moment, as a good place to be, I wouldn't suggest a relationship right now. I wouldn't suggest more playthings at the moment. So, and these are like people that we can have friends with benefits. These are good for um, the Aquarius at the moment because we don't want to give full commitment right now. We just want to play the game. So that's a good idea for you right now. Um, that changes by the end of November. So enjoy it while it lasts is what I'm saying. So November is a very good month, end of November, to start creating new relationships then. So that's you settling down. But now until then, enjoy your freedom, is what I'm saying. Okay. Friendships take up a lot of your time and energy. The Ten of Wands can be quite 
almost like they're drawing on your strength and your energy to be a certain way right now. Tens in this arena, that is fine. I'm okay to give it. It means that you are have enough energy to support the structure and they're coming to you for advice. So Aquarius is the mediator. It wants to always take in and learn how can I grow better and how can I do better. Meantime, you guys are such perfectionists in how you do things that everything's done perfectly. The world and the king of wands, you have control over your lives and well done. Okay, so I'm not worried when it comes to finances. I'm not worried when it comes to work for you because everything's in alignment with where you should be right now. So even if uh, we don't have work, that is where you should be right now. Just not change it. Okay. Enjoy this next month or so until end of November because it's a very big time for you to grow, but also grow in yourself. So maybe it's a time out for you. Maybe it's a time for you to pull back a little bit when it comes to work and just know everything I put in place this year is now bearing fruit. It's now I'm watching everything grow and I don't have to be so involved anymore is what I'm saying when it comes to work, when it comes to finances. So finances, the pages can spend sometimes. So just be a watch spending over the time. And the sixes is you're getting a lot of reward, you're getting a lot of praise at work. Um, it's a lot of shine time for you. So well done. I quite like this energy for work and, and finances. It feels quite stable. My main concern for you is relationships, the pet peeves, and sorting that out now. So that's the number one tip I have for you for the, these couple months. I also feel family, um, hosting a family of December, that's a good idea for you. Make your home into this paradise that you want people there. So whatever needs to be sorted out, that's my next focus. Financially, don't hold too much onto your money. Money flows in right now. So it's about receiving, it's about uh, you know putting money away, it's about saving. It's not about splurging too much because we can do any, everything on a dime. But for Aquarius right now, I'm going to ask you to focus on this relationship. It's the one part of your energy that I want for you to, to resolve or to get better. And it will get better, I promise you now. The threes in your cycle means this is a new way of learning about your partner. Maybe spend more time with them. Maybe they want to learn something new and you can be part of that growth cycle. So uh, for Aquarius, you, you're doing a really good job, by the way, for juggling family and home and and. and all parts of your life, you know? It's not a, a, a time to leave anything, it's about a, a time to make things perfect, okay? Because it's already there, the foundation's already set. Temperance comes in. Temperance usually has to do with how we perceive things, you know, what we need other uh, people to hear from our, our point of view. This is a time for you to let them into your world for a moment, and uh, to see that it's not all roses, but you are such a perfectionist, you make everything work, perfectly because you're so well balanced and you're so well strengthened and people look for your strength so when you're strong you're strong and that's the strength you give on to other people around you especially around uh, kids in home and um, that is where you're the most powerful okay so when it comes to running the household running the, the family running everything you are like a powerhouse to make it work okay so if i give you anything from this reading right now just know that you've done a really good job this year. I, I shows in this month that I'm quite tired, so I just need a break. Um, international travel, yes, I can see you doing that. So if you want that, you can create it this year. I don't feel we have to hold off from wanting more in this life. So I feel whatever we're busy with right now starts to build very quickly. So put your mind to things you want to manifest. And in this month right now, from end of October, right, which is right now, it starts building into November and end of November is you start seeing the really good energy that I'm seeing for you. So well done. So work in finances, I'm happy for that. Relationships is the only corner that I'm looking at in your cycle that I can put more energy to. And when it comes to friends and family, they're gonna draw on your strength right now. So just be aware of that. Otherwise, I'm quite happy with Aquarius. Aquarius is one of those signs that just gets through everything because they're so strong. And they really don't ask for help, you know what I mean? So I want you to ask for help. If there's something at work front that I need help with, ask, you know. It, it won't kill you to, to be in that energy of receiving for a change. And I also feel that your partner, whoever your partner may be, can bring more to the table in that aspect, you know. And I think if we can address that, then all the pet peeves go and then there's complete balance around this house. Now, renovations. Get it done as soon as possible. So if there's anything in the air right now, get that done because 
um, home, foundations, uh, security, making me feel safe about my home space. That is what your, your focus is about, but it's also about making sure that this home is peaceful and loving. So going to the feng shui of the home and you know, if there's declutter, um, clutter, we need to declutter. And if we need to cleanse the engine in the home space, then this is the month to do it. So this is by the end of October, which is now, it's time for you to focus on what is important and this home represents a mind, okay? So if there's anything that is left unresolved and needs to be completed in this month. Um, I also feel a, a special connection to mom's energy at this time. So parents need to reach out to mom's energy at the moment. Um, that is the energy of nurturing right now. That's the energy that of um, safety, if that makes sense. And I just need to spend lots of time, lots of energy and lots of love on mom as we speak. Um, I feel that is where your energy and focus should be when it comes to actual media family. Now, when it comes to small kids, um, I do feel there might be a little bit of a fur kid coming into the home or wanting of a new animal or a, a new energy of that coming in right now. Um, don't be surprised if um, someone comes home with a new pet or a pet doesn't leave the house or a new animal is coming in. So just be aware, maybe it's just a new hobby, a new interest or new something coming in and we just need to allow that to come in. So if you are the parent right now and your child comes to you with this new animal and brings in healing to the whole home, I'm gonna say, please take it in as your own because this is gonna be a, a glue to mending a relationship with that child. Okay, so it's gonna bond you. Um, as get a special warning or an energy around water or electricity as either one or the other. Remember, I'm talking to a big group of people. Um, so maybe just wash the electricity bill or the water or water leak on the, the property. Okay, so just heads up on that level. And uh, when it comes to work, beautiful energy. When it comes to finances, beautiful energy. Um, I really, I can really commend you for the months that you've had to sacrifice for this time of your life right now, where things are a little bit easier and I can splurge a little bit more and I can actually enjoy my space, not um, feel embarrassed about my space, okay? So whatever's embarrassing about your space, now's the time to deal, okay? Um, I'm Timothy, thank you so much for this reading. I'm glad, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, put some comments in the comments below. I, I really like you reading in the comments and if you like, share, subscribe, um, stay tuned to all my new latest material and I'm here to serve everyone. I'm here to do these readings to help people. So that's my main aim with these videos. Um, so thank you so much. I really appreciate all your time and energy that you've taken to, to be here. And I really hope that this can help you. So this is valid from October to December 2019. Take what you can from this. Remember, I'm talking to a big audience now. And sometimes um, a small percentage of this reading might be for you. Okay, so just so you know, um, if you need more of a direct reading, contact me, phone me, shout, and send me an email. I'll leave links in the comments below. And you can get my private email from there and we can always chat. Um, send me some questions, we can go through everything. And if you like that sort of thing, um, you can always pay a donation over, you know, so it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, and if you want a proper professional reading of 10 questions, my rate is 500 uh, Rand or 34 dollars, that's roughly what I, I charge. Um, so if you want a private consultation, then you're more than welcome. And then the energy is directly to you and your family and what you can do to enhance things. So thank you so much. I'm Timothy Fermanen. Much love to you. Thank you so much.